Welcome back to Mango Plays Rich Side Village. And do we have we have a cactus fruit? How cute! I love it. There we go. Let's water our cactus. We don't have anything massively special other than Dwarf's birthday. Now it seems like um, oh, there we go. That is the quest. Hopefully, that's been flashing. Yes, the quest flashing has been fixed. And ah, oh, I have tea leaves again. Oh, how glorious. We we need to do all of our chores. And today, I would like to spend a little bit of time doing some decorating of the farm. Because I feel like it's time. Um, let's see. Dear Mango, I have need of assistance. My supplier has suffered most dire consequences. Is unable to supply my latest order. I absolutely must have the following flowers. A sweet pea, a tulip, and a blue jazz. If you could bring them, uh, please bring them to my house at the earliest possible convenience. I'd be internally grateful and in your debt. Thank you, Eileen. Now we will get that done. Probably not today. Um, and then Eileen has sent me some spangle seeds. Thank you. Uh, dear Mango, it'd be really be most advantageous if you're able to source my flowers locally. Perhaps you'd care to plant these for me. Thank you, Eileen. Aideen, you are in love with all flowers, aren't you, bless you? Right, okay. You can see some bits in my inventory which came from the sort of muted section from the last video. And yeah, I, I am sorry about that. Um, but hey, let's uh, drop everything off. And I guess continue with some good stuff. Yeah, let's um, continue with our chores. We want to make sure that we are continuing with everything and making sure we're keeping everyone happy on the farm. We definitely have quite a lot of um, bits to get done. Now, I am going to not worry about the conservatory, the greenhouse even, but we are going to have a look over here. we got melons ready to harvest. Fabulous. And we have some hops. Anything else? Maybe, yes, bird of paradise, flowers. There we go. Perfect for Ideen. And let's continue on and see our lovely animals. Now, we have a weird fence post here. I don't think it quite works. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit weird. Um, and let's just give a good pat to our lovely cow and grab the milk pail. Hello. Thank you very much for your milk. That is glorious stuff. How much milk do we have now? eight that is doing well what two more days until we have um completed that section let's have a no i don't want to put the tapper in there let's have a look at that particular community it's the home, home cooked bundle so that'll be completed and then finally it's the rabbit's foot and you guys have let me know that potentially i can get a rabbit's foot from um the skull caverns so we could try that but it would need to be on a really lucky day to sort of work now decorations let's let's go up and see robin because i want to buy as many recipes as possible and then we can pop up and see the dwarf and give the dwarf a gift for their birthday and then we'll come back and we will do some decorating oh demetrius i didn't tell you to get tomatoes i said to get fruit Okay. Oh, yes. I don't understand. Tomatoes are fruits. Oh, dear. <laughs> when a normal person says they want fruit, they never mean tomatoes. It doesn't matter what the scientific classification is. I mean, yeah, I can see both sides. Mango, I'm glad you're here. You'll be able to put this argument to rest. Okay. Um, what am I going to choose, guys? How would you classify a tomato? A vegetable or a fruit? It's a vegetable. <laughs> Really? I figured a farmer would know the correct answer. Yeah, I guess. I mean, technically, this means salsa is a fruit salad, right? <laughs> I just want you to understand my point of view. It's hard for me to know exactly what assumptions I should make when you tell me something. That I truly understand. But I'll try to get better at it. Oh. Bless them. Thanks for your help, Mango. It would have been nice if Robin had said, I'll try and be more specific. When I when I ask for fruit, you know, say, oh, could you get me some fruit? You know, something like bananas, oranges, apples. You know, then Demetrius will get an understanding that it's the sweet fruit that potentially uh, Robin is looking for. You know, a bit of compromise. Hello, Robin. Okay, I would like a shop, please. 
and we want now I'm, I'm just thinking as well it might be worth buying like a telephone maybe or um ah, here we go recipes um was that it is that all i could get from you i i feel like there should have been more um yeah i definitely do feel like there should have been more options but the other thing that potentially I should get um, Robin working on is... Now you guys have suggested I get another silo and I think you're right but for the moment using the hay in the sort of chest is working. It won't cost me much um, but I don't know where I want to put my silo so that's kind of where I'm at there. But getting another fish pond? I mean we could. Okay let's see um storage materials do we have the stone and wood and what else do we need we need five of these and five seaweed yeah okay so i would like to just drop that there that's all right i failed to finish my chores okay i'll start working on your new fish pond first thing tomorrow morning thank you very much I wonder where else I can get recipes because now I have in decorating so I was looking for I mean we've got the iron lamp post now which is nice and the wood lamp post um and the wooden brazier but yeah that's what I'm kind of looking for is all the decoration options hmm hello lovely mine let's get some more stuff on the go oops nope um wonderful let's pop iron on for smelt Definitely seems like iron is my most used resource right now. I got all this stuff from the surface. I just take it from your people during the night. <laughs> hmm? What's this concept you call private property? Yep. Um, I mean, that rare crow is quite nice. And this is nice. We're going to get one of those. I want one. I can't stop me. I want it. Okay, what would be good for you? An omni geode? Or like... A sour potato. There we go. That is definitely what I want. Because we've got a silver sour potato. And that will give us a bit of extra points. You got this for me? This is wonderful. Thank you. You are welcome. I wonder if we sort of just reload this area. No, maybe I have to come out and in again. No, we didn't trigger a cutscene, which is a shame. Now, I do know there is a cutscene to take a milk into... The, I can't, I can't get that into the mines. And you know what? We have milk now. Let, let's, let's try it. The dwarf wanted a milk. No. <laughs> Greetings, sun dweller. What treasure have you bought me today? Um, the, the juice from a cow, the thick, the thick even, creamy liquid we call milk, a beverage rich in calcium. I think I'm going to be quite descriptive i love the juice from a crack cow that's a lovely descriptor as well ah milk my curiosity curiosity is about to be sated okay tell me how is it extracted um well we squeeze the udders of a cow that does not sound very hygienic no it doesn't oh but yet i am still curious give it a try go on oh i love it there's stuff floating on it uh, is that the cream? That's the cream. It's the best bit. That's how you know it's fresh. Look, do you want to drink it or not? I can make good money from this. Uh, that's the cream. It's the best bit. Cream? Yes, I think I'd like to try this very much. I'm definitely a fan of cream over milk, as we said. This, this cow juice, it is delicious. I would like to try more. You will bring me more, yes? So, does the dwarf now like milk is that what's happening i is it in here um can't see it i mean there is a lot of likes here <laughs> um might be easier to do this so loves this raphael likes this no dwarf wonder if we bring them a cheese, whether or not that would be good. 
But that was nice to see a um, cutscene with the dwarf. I love it. Because I am very much interested to see how the dwarf and Jasper storyline progresses. And I think we do need to actually spend some time progressing our friendship with the dwarf to get the dwarf to trust us when we say Jasper's all right. You know? So I feel like that would be a good idea. Okay, so I want to... I feel like right now I want to sort out either the round this area. I'm probably going to wait until some no we are in summer fall so i can redo and hopefully by that point i have a high enough skill level even in farming for the next sprinkler type so i can do the sprinklers in a pattern that i like and yeah we can move forward but first thing i'm going to take down all of these trees that are just here and then we're going to plan our fences and lighting Oh, it's going to be great. I wish I had a tractor already. Now, I am actually going to take these bushes out just because I don't see the point in keeping them in this area. We want a nice, clear, easy, lovely area for our animals. I want... Oh, no. As I was say, I wonder if I could buy benches. That would be cool. Because I kind of like the idea of planting... Like a couple of trees here and then putting a bench. Like we'll move the coop over and um, or maybe we move the coop over and the barn next to it. And then over here we have like a little tree and seated area. That would be nice. But I want a bench and I don't know if I can get one. <laughs> Without the furniture catalogue at the very least. Okay, I think I have cleared everything that I want to clear. Let's go to the wizard's tower to do some movement of buildings. And hopefully, I'm, well, I'm going to wait until the animals have gone to bed to actually put the uh, fences in. Hello, wizard. I'd like to use your magic, please. <gasps> no, am I not good enough friends with you? No. What? Ah, yes. I've seen many things about your future, young mango. Thank you. If I were to tell you, there could be grave consequences. Oh no! Right, egg root. Apparently have an egg root. That would be in vegetables, right? Uh, egg barn? Egg root! There we go! Here you go, have one. Ah, this is imbued with potent arcane energies. It's very useful for my studies. Thank you. You are welcome. I can't remember what the kickoff is to being allowed to use that. I wonder if I can still use Robin's component, even though I've asked for a building to be built. Um, no! Oh no! <laughs> I would love to move those buildings. Okay, so we are going to have to wait until later to do sort of like this nice chilled out area to relax in with the animals. But what I want to do is have... I think there's enough room to have the coop here and the barn here and it not be impacted. The only thing that's a little bit disappointing to me is this section here. So this is a gate and some iron fences. I can't, I don't think I can, can I just put two gates in? No, you see you have to have a fence on the side of them and my tools are in the wrong place. So, I don't know how to fence this off in a way that I like. Because I have to put a fence on one side, but what I want is like two gates. Maybe I'll just leave this for the moment. Maybe unfenced. What do you guys think? Let me know in those comments. Now, um, I want to get rid of you for definite. Do I... I feel like I want to pop you along here to the edge and then we're going to sort of like come down this way I feel um, and then we're going to move over like that and then will that connect can I get through there I can't which is lovely that's what I want to see and then we're going to have a gate there and a gate there nope don't like that I want a little bit of space gap uh, so let's pop that 
there. Then we're going to want to pop you there. Maybe just one is enough. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll leave it like that for the moment. And then I want... Do I want to cut them off away from getting to the beach? Or do I want to give them a bit of access to the sea? I feel like I want to give them a bit of access to the sea. Let's see. Um, see, see, see. Right, can I... I can walk around that, so... Oh no, do we think the animals can? We could try and see, and then we'll pop that there. We'll find out. I like that though. So now we've got some torches to um, be able to pop down. I have to remember to put it down at the bottom. Oh, do you know what I should have used? No, hang on. What is the key bind? Now, if you didn't know, in settings, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there is a button called mod options. As long as you have, I will pop the mod name on screen because I always forget what it's called because... It's just installed by default by me. Like, I just, boom, it's always there. But it's basically the ability to configure mods on the fly. And what I'm looking for is the builder mod that we found recently and I've barely used. Smart building, yes. Z and left shift. Okay. So, left shift and Z. There it is. That's what I should have used. Oh. So, can I, can I place? How do I place torches? Hang on. Um, draw objects directly in the world. There we go. Is that what I want to do? Is that how I want to do it? I don't know. We'll see. It's all part of the finding out. So if we click OK, that didn't quite work, did it? <laughs> uh, couldn't place the torch on the fence. Does the fence? I don't know. Right, but I like I like the placement. I'll manually place. No, don't break stuff, Mango. Um, so we'll click OK, and then I'm just gonna clear that so I can do the torching up because I don't know how to. No, how do I? How do I torch this? I guess like that. Maybe I can't place torches on corners. Excuse me. Why can I? Oh, I think that is on the corner. It just looks a bit weird. Oh, that's a shame. Is that on the fence then? Did it work? I think it did. It just looks weird with this texture that I've got. Oh, that's a shame. It looks, to me, it looks like the torch is on the one behind it. Let me know what you guys think. Um... Maybe I'll have to actually come in here with some proper pathing and then I can use some iron fen um, iron lanterns. Oh my god, it's half twelve. What? No, I was having fun decorating. <laughs> Game. Why you do this? No, no, no. I forgot to give Sairi some love. There we go. Let's go to bed now. Ah, there we go. Let's get everything watered. We have an okay luck day, but mostly it's meh. We're going to just mostly concentrate on our chores. Maybe a little bit of questing might be cool. And, and maybe a little bit more decorating. Look, we got a prismatic shard. Maybe we go to the desert and get that. Because now we have two shards. I can give one to Jasper. And I can... Um, do a galaxy sword now which is kind of cool right we'll pop that there we're going to go do our chores and the coffee bean should be a while let's check on when the coffee bean will be ready because we want to get those blobfish fully happy six days that is not bad hello noah let's go for a ride okay we have a star fruit lovely and that should be for ken We'll pop that aside for Kent. I want to... I still want to move the buildings before I put the Ken down. Because I want to put that sort of somewhere cool. Um, maybe for the moment. We'll just pop it sort of like there. Um, and then I wanted to pop some grass starters down. Because 
we need to to keep our animals happy hello glorious ones we got our rabbit of course and our cow let's grab our milk pail deal with that and then we want to also go in here because i believe it's been a couple of days since i have an oh my word we got our first wall produced by the gloriousness of um the rabbit ah animal product soft fluffy wool 510 gold that is nice okay i do want an egg though uh let's grab a large egg make some more mayo hello noah right so that means that percy is fully adult and that is just lovely oh okay we have some items glorious items oh you're nice and happy 10 10 fix it yours we now have a 40% chance of a battery pack. How cool is that? Oh, no, I don't want to eat the fixer row. I would like all of these goodies. Thank you very much. Drop everything off. And I'm going to sort out my inventory. Then we're going to do the fixer stuff. Then, um, the, the row, should I say. And then I'd kind of like to do a little bit of fishing and do some questing. And, of course, I forgot the tea leaves. I'm glad I remembered yesterday. And I am glad that I can actually spot the, the growth stage now, which is good because we're going to have a serious amount of tea bushes because I've decided that um, tea leaves are going to be, or tea bushes are going to be mostly my fencing. There are going to place, be places where we're going to have proper fencing. I think that's kind of cool. But mostly, we're going to do tea bushes as fencing because, well, we might as well make use of it. Now, um, let's water Sairi's bowl as well because we, we need to care about more than just Noah. And then I'm just going to clear my inventory of the decorating stuff. Okay, okay. Right. Let's go. I wanted... What did I want to do? We have probably been working on that. I said... I wanted to do a little bit of work on pathing. I think getting paths in would be nice and getting an understanding of where I'm putting those fish ponds would be great. And then I wanted to do a little bit of fishing and quest completion. I think that would be great. So uh, we got the linked fishes and we can have a look at where we can find all of these things. That would be awesome. And then I have one other fish that I do very much want to get, which is the lava eel. Now, if I remember correctly, the lava eel is found somewhere in the mines. And if I search it up, we don't have one because I gave it in. We have caught one, but I gave it in, I believe, to somebody. Oh my God, I want a logo cap. Yes. Um. So we need to grab one. And any seasons, locations, mine level 100. Let's go and try and get that. It might be a bit difficult because of our skill level and everything at the moment. Oh, I forgot to do the row. Whoops. We have more important things. Decorating being one of them. Hopefully, I will get that done on the way back, though. Right, let's see. Fingers crossed. And you can see, pretty much instantaneously, I get a, um, a bite. And, like, that's massively improved. Even in this region, you'd normally wait quite a while, like we just did. So, it, that improvement on fish bite rate is just amazing. Oh, here we go. Oh, I haven't caught one. No. Right, no, 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 no. I don't, I think this is worse than the puffer fish. I'm not going to lie. This is a challenge for me. I, I always think that I'm better at fishing than I am. And then one of these fish come, come and basically teach me the ways of being humble about fishing in this game. Um, and this definitely one is one that really wants to just go back. Put some boards on, on it. Come on. Come on. Please let me just get you because you'll be great yes right let's have a look here lava eel um of course gives us all of their stuff but we'll get a chance of apparently very expensive rows so again it's like the blobfish 
um, all the way up to then we start getting gold ore and then finally spicy eels uh, which is a great meal we'll have a look at it in a second and then magma geodes which which is just great magma geodes are great so let's have a look at spicy no spicy eel and does it tell us what we get from it I think we get luck if I remember rightly um, it's just a great meal to have being generated I love it when I get it from the serpents up at um, uh, the Skull Caverns, so like I'm down for that happening. So let's go back to the bus stop and take Noah to do the row, and let's grab our row. So we got fixer T, uh, fixer even fixer eel row, and then blobfish row. I think we're actually starting to get to a point where we are getting enough row of the more sort of like expensive types like look at this i need to actually make a decision to do blobfish row there so i can i think just naturally trash the dewdrop row for the moment and get like 1000 gold from that like obviously the hope is eventually to just have the, the row all of it being converted because Every time we age it, of course, we get much better sort of like um, uh, money out of it, for sure. So I definitely kind of want to be doing it. But for the moment, that's just easy, easy cash. Here we go. Let's grab all of that glorious money. And what else do we want to do? We want to pop that in our for duplicating chest because we definitely want that one to be our next component. And then look at all of these i need to really squeeze this fish these fish ponds in it's hilarious um okay let's check how full my silo is because that's going to inform some things so we need to empty that silo and we now know the trick to emptying the silo is to go into one of your buildings and literally just Right click. And boom. Uh, the hopper is empty. And there we go. So we're just going to fill that up. Just for our lovely Athena. And then drop that off. Which will go into a chest. Are you guys doing okay? Yeah you are. I do need to make some more grass starters. So we can really make this sort of very grassy for them. Because I am not going to be allowing grass to spawn really on the rest of the farm so it's going to be interesting hopefully the summit farm i will be able to sort of like clear out and until i get to a point where i can actually utilize it quite well we will probably just put some grass starters up there allow that to grow through the seasons and then in winter when we really do need hay we can just clear it. I mean, look at that. We've nearly filled our silo. Oh, there we go. We have filled our silo. No. I'm pretty sure, actually. Let's see. Can I call Marnie now? Yeah, that was good. Okay. I can't, I can't still interact with Marnie about shop stuff, which is just depressing. Oh, no. It's because I filled it. Oh, no. What I wanted to do was start building my path between the zones. And I do kind of like the gravel. But I have kind of gone off it. So what other paths do we have? Uh, let's see. Tools. I believe I made every type of path at some point. Yeah, that looks like I have. Okay, let's drop everything here. I ha I'm not going to Marnie's because Marnie is closed. So... Like a five, that's it. Boom, she's closed. Um, let's go up here and just just see my 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 different half types. Now you see, I really like this wooden one because I feel like it makes sense for on top of the beach zone. This wooden one, I'm not a big fan of the way it sort of curves. So I don't think I want that one. So let's drop off that. Um, actually, I should pick it up first as well. Do you know what? I should use my builder mod. 
No, it's because I'm so used to having to do this manually. Okay, let's drop that off. Right. Uh, with shift and Z. There we go. Alright, so we want to definitely draw objects onto the world. There we go. And then we'll do that. Um, excuse me. Um, okay, yeah, it's because uh, there's, a, there's a horse in the way. Which is understandable. Uh, let's do a bit more of that one because we have more. And then let's do that. And then we're going to go... Okay. Ah, oh, isn't that nice? Now, one of the really nice things about this mod is we can erase, which is just perfect. Um, this kind of blends quite nicely. Uh, do I have torches? I do. Let's put some down because it's starting to get dark. You know, 7 o'clock at night. I think... I think I really do like this one here, and I think I want to edge it. I think edging it with this would um, kind of suck. Yeah, let's erase that. Um, we want to erase floors. Let's pick up those floors. And we might as well erase all of these because I've made the decision that I want to actually move away from gravel. We're moving away from gravel. Isn't this so nice and easy to do? Um, and we could... Oh yeah, I want a place now. So, we could do that. Or that. Let's see. What do we like? I don't like that one. So we're going to pull that one up. Uh, erase this, please. Thank you very much. Now we want to do this. And we can try this. Okay. No, I don't like that. I feel like it's too bright in comparison. So let's erase. Uh, no, I've got to click on floors. That's annoying. But I can cope. I don't want to use that one. So let's try placing with this. Now, by the way, there's shortcut keys for all of these. I just haven't set them. So, because uh, I'm like, I, I rarely use it. So, okay. So the final one is that. Um, let's then put some more torches down. Uh, okay. Uh, was... Okay, cool. I just got, I just got like a hundred torches. That was a bad refund. Um, I'll have to look in the recording to know how many torches I just got for free. I like this one. I do like this one as well, but I feel like this one would be better because what I want to do is, um, do I want, let's try a wood lamppost and an iron lamppost. But what I want to do is like pop an iron lamppost and sort of like, yeah, let's commit them in. Like stuff like that. And I think that would be just so cool. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't know if I like that that one uh, more because of the way it looks on the bottom. The wood lamppost looks so much better, right? That looks like it's on this one. Yeah. Okay, cool. I know what lamppost I want. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, okay, okay. Excited, Mango. Um, so I want to pick up objects. Uh, let's just not fish. Please not fish. Okay. Um, boom, boom, boom. And then we want to pick up floors. Oh, and then I want to pick up that. There we go. Right. Draw. So I like the stone floors with the rustic plank floors. So we're going to drop off everything else that I don't like. Uh, we'll drop off those torches as well. So we want wood lampposts, lamp posts even, stone floors and rustic plank floors. Oh, we're going to be using so many materials. It's hilarious. Okay, I can make quite a few of these, which is just fantastic. There we go. We'll pop 100 in. Um, can I move you? And we want stone floors. Love it. Not as many stone floors that I can make, unfortunately. But we are sort of understanding where we are with stuff now battery packs are where i fell over there 
I don't mind that I'm using battery packs for decorating because I've put off decorating for so long that it just is sad to me. And do you know what I'm going to do for a change? I don't normally do this, guys. I really want to actually, um, just for the moment, get a little bit of this decorating done. I hope you guys won't mind. I just want to freeze time whilst I do the decorating of the paths, okay? Please, please don't hate me. Um, but hey, you know, I use mods for a reason. <laughs> so we're going to bring the path thing all the way down here. Um, oh, no, I can't erase. I want to draw. So we're just going to go. Woo. I love it so much. That was too far. So we want to. I could have draw drew a build rectangle. That would have been cool. Let's try that. I want to understand it. Okay, draw a build rectangle. <gasps> That's so cool. I love it. Okay, so um, now we are going to have to. Ignore putting it underneath these at the moment, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, but for the moment, we'll do that. And then we'll pick up these when they sort of finish processing. We can pick up, actually. Um, we can... What the heck? No! What is just duplicating stuff? Okay, I kind of can't finish with the wood stuff, can I? I'm going to have to assume that I had none left. I think I made like 120, so maybe I could do a little bit more fencing. Uh, sorry, not fencing. Um, floor placement. But not much. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Okay, um... I don't even know if I can erase because there's so much um, so much uh, stuff in my inventory now. So we want to place and we want to take it to 120. And if I did overspend on my floors, I will throw some wood away or something. Oh, man. I don't know if this is a bug with the building thing or it could be a combo bug because I'm using the building thing. So let's do okay. I'm using the building, uh, smart building mod and of course we've got something that we are aware of that will cause bugs, which is the, oh, I forget, but it's the, the inventory one that will basically allow... Um, me to have let's let's do this so you can see it guys whilst i remember um in this i've got the five iridium one gold and five normal so that i can have more items in a chest basically i've forgotten what mod that's called uh, but let's just do this we want to bring that all the way down bring it all the way up and then we're just going to bring it over as far as we can. Oh, I love it so much. It sort of lines up with this fence. It's such a shame that I can't. Um, oh, I can turn more lax floor placement on. And that would allow me to put it underneath. Let me know if you want, if you're happy with me turning that on so I can place, um, so that you can sort of like match. It looks like the fence is on the flooring that we're putting down. Because I think that would be kind of cool. And then we're just going to edge it over here as well. We may pull that up when I might move this stable back. When we put the tractor in, for example. Um, I can't put the wood floor down there, even though I've lost a recycling machine. Okay, I will make a new recycling machine and just assume that um, whatever I gained in the flooring got paid for in the losing of the recycling machine does that make sense guys because you know the recycling machine is a lot more expensive but let's um pop this down so we are going to want to erase fences which is these guys there we go 
and we're going to want to draw and again just going to draw up here no replacing floors in place is disabled in settings it is because i was like well you could just erase it and i didn't want to sort of have an accident and we're just gonna lose a little bit of hay but honestly this this hay stuff grows so quick um and we're just going to go all the way up here that some of that will be removed when we start moving nope that was not what i wanted to do when we start moving stuff around so uh, it's all good and actually i'm going to erase that immediately because what i'm going to want to do is i'm going to want a too wide gap oh no draw a too wide gap and then we're going to go all the way to there and we're just going to finish that path there it's going to look nice with the wood inside and then we have 10 lampposts to place ah, i'm gonna say no i'm gonna commit drawn to world at the end so i'm gonna want one here for definite can i place it please draw objects directly oh maybe i have to commit it i was given 126 stone floors back that's a little bit that's a little bit I'm just gonna say it's a little bit uh, excessive in my mind uh let's put one there we're definitely probably gonna want one there maybe i say definitely i don't know actually at this point um we we'll want no i'm gonna want it there so let's erase that there we go place again how many have i got i've got six left so i'm gonna want sort of one halfway or two one halfway should i say we're definitely gonna want to here before we go into the uh what is this called um there we go into the farming zone that's what i want to say okay i've got two i feel like that one's or this one's a bit too much so i'm gonna raise that there we go and yeah, for the moment, I feel like that's the right amount of lamps there. Uh, let's do a couple of lamps down here. We only have four, which is cool. Oh, that's why I got a refund. So let's erase that torch. And then we're going to pop one. Because we should have only been refunded one. That's what we should have been refunded. So let's pop one here, one there. And then we're definitely going to want one on the corners here. And that is everything that we were given. And then let's just go throw these out into the ocean. Um, oh, yeah. Lacks placement. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, game. We have to do it this way. There we go. Right. I got rid of those additionals. And then I can get rid of that. And then look. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're going to remove these. We're going to bring this path out. And what I want to do, I think, is join this path to the entry into this zone. So I'm probably going to move this fencing up. I think that's going to be pretty cool. And then we're going to um, join through a path to this area. And then basically this whole zone is going to be rammed, rammed, I tell you, with fish bombs. Which is just so cool. So now I'm going to press B to get into the cheats menu. And I'm going to turn off freeze time everywhere. And now we are back on the clock. I'm just glad I was able to do that. I could have done it over like the next episode and whatnot. But I actually just, I just wanted to spend some time doing a little bit of decoration. So I do hope you guys were happy with that as well. Let's go to sleep. And there we go. We have our new fish pond which means i can move some buildings around which i definitely will do in the next episode we're gonna we're gonna pull some things up and move them around as well i think that's gonna be a good idea but it is gonna have to wait to the next episode i do hope you enjoyed today's um do let me know in the comments if you did leave me a like if you did enjoy that's what i normally say because it really does help out the channel comments and likes really do help so thank you very much and I guess thank you very much for all the stuff that you guys do. Liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, all that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, 
a huge, huge thank you to my wonderful patrons whose names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. Thank you so much for your support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.